So, question and answer tonight, and uh, yeah, Daniel, yes. Yeah, uh, I was noticing some things, but I'm just curious about the emotions with stand-up comics, like why is it so important for them to be emotional? Being emotional as a stand-up com comedian, uh, uh, well, first of all, stand-up com comedy is, like, if you watch a lot of people, it's extremely emotional. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, uh, there's a few exceptions to that, you know, the deadpan kind of comedian Stephen Wright and a few others that, you know, in their time and stuff, but those are kind of special cases. Uh, and they have a tendency not to go on to acting careers and stuff as well because they uh, have kind of a, uh, they, don't, they don't have any emotional range. They kind of stay in the same emotional range for everything. And so how do you use that? How do you, how do you, you know, put that into a love scene, into an action scene, into a, you know, if it's just one emotion. So that kind of limits the person. But... If you look at the people that have been on top for years and years and years and also go into the acting field as well, you'll notice they're extremely emotional. You know, Robin Williams and you know, Bill Burr and go back to things like, you know, Robert Klein and, and uh, even Lenny Bruce, uh, George Carlin, uh, Lily Tomlin, Ellen DeGeneres. They're all very emotional. About it. So here's the reason for it. That's how the audience gets to know you, gets to know the position that you're taking, how you feel about it, I mean, it kind of seems obvious. Uh, the, the way I see it kind of shaking out in general is uh, premise, the premises, as I've already been telling you, premise, a uh, negative opinion about a subject. That's your, that's your message, okay? You know, when, when, when you know, Louis C.K. got up and said, my four-year-old daughter's an asshole. Okay, we know what he's going to talk about and we know his position, okay? After that, that's, a, that's an intellectual process. An opinion is intellectual. The way we get to know how you really feel about everything is how you emotionally respond to everything that you're talking about. We get to know really how you feel about it. Uh, for instance, if I were to say uh, Donald Trump is president, what do you know about me? Nothing. Yeah, yeah but I know who the current president is pretty much, right? <laughs> You know, uh, but if I, if, if I go, oh, Donald Trump's president, what do you know about me? You know, that I'm probably liberal, I don't like the administration and all the other problems and stuff like that. You follow, you, get, you know that about me. I don't have to tell you that, that information. You will know it by my emotional reaction to it. If I go, yeah, yeah, Donald Trump, president. What do you know about me? That I'm an idiot. <laughs> but I'm saying is, and, and a lot of people use the words and uh, things I try to take out of, of good stand-up, when you're doing good stand-up, take out the emotional words. Uh, except in your premise where you're stating what your position is, but some people go, oh, I, I always felt really awkward in that. Don't say, I felt really awkward. Just kind of go, yeah, I, uh... Mm. And be awkward. You don't have to say it. The audience will know it uh, so much. And that's one of the reasons for emotions is, is you can communicate an enormous amount about uh, the things that you're talking about in your comedy. And also emotions uh, is one of the ways having a particular emotion uh, can set a target assumption. Right, and then, then we think, oh, the person feels this way about it, and then you jump and you realize, oh, they don't feel that way at all about that. Okay, uh, emotions are another way to have a connector, as it were, just in your, the way that you feel about stuff. You can structure jokes and even what I call enhance certain jokes by the emotions that you put into it. And a matter of fact, you can screw up certain jokes if you have a certain target assumption for your joke and you use the wrong emotion and stuff like that for it, you can give it away or, or set it up completely wrong by using the wrong emotion. You need to know what your target assumption is before you know uh, uh, how to emotionally respond to it. So that's the reason. I mean, that's a lot of good reasons. One is that, you know, it's always been a very emotional thing because comedians are very uh, committed. And the other thing is, is that, you know, that it's how, it's how the audience gets to know you. They really get to know you. And, and the other thing is, you don't have to state the emotions, be the emotions. 
Uh, and uh, the last thing is you can use the emotions as, again, as part of helping to either directly structure a joke or to enhance uh, the performance of a particular joke. So when you get out there, my, my advice is be extremely emotional and honestly emotional.